Mac OS Mojave, the latest update to the prolific Apple operating system is here. And as soon as I start recording, they start cutting the grass right outside my apartment. Seriously? And while plenty of other websites and videos will do a much better job than I would of covering all of the changes provided in the update, there is one thing I want to focus on in this update, and that is the new screen recording tool. So I've got my MacBook booted up here, I've updated it, enabled the dark theme because, of course, <laughs> and I'm going to show you what's going on. Alright, so in previous installments of Mac OS, in order to do a screenshot, uh, you'd usually just use the Command Shift 4 hotkey, and then drag that around and take your screenshot and it would save to the desktop or wherever you have it set to save and you'd use it or you type in screenshot and take it that way. Uh, and then to do screen recording, you'd actually right click or double click, however it's referred to in Mac, uh, the QuickTime player and do new screen recording. And it would just do a basic QuickTime recording of your screen. However, in Mojave, they have actually released a new screenshot tool, which is actually really cool. So I've added it to my dock here, and if you click screenshot, you now have a new UI to actually customize what exactly you're taking a screenshot of. So you have capture entire screen, capture the selected window, or cr capture a selected portion or a region. So if I only wanted to capture that region, I could drag the box around it, you know, choose however I like, and then tell it to capture at the bottom. And it's going to save a screenshot very similarly to how the previous hotkey did, but you get you know, you get a direct thing. You get select a window, capture the entire screen, capture, done. And then if we go into options here, uh, you can tell it where to save. So again, I have it set to save to the desktop because I am a heathen. <laughs> you have to set where it saves. You can enable a timer. So if you want to pull something specific up, you can have it delay to start after five seconds or after 10 seconds. And then you have an option to show the floating thumbnail in the bottom corner after you have taken the screenshot. Remember the last selection of region, window, full screen, whatever you've selected, and to show the mouse pointer or not in screenshots. I usually like having that on, so I'm going to turn that on. You also now have a screen recorder built into this, and it can do some cool stuff. So if I say uh, record entire screen, I'm going to tell it to record. And you can see at the top, you just got to click the stop thing to stop the screen recording. And it's actually going to show your mouse clicks now in a similar way to how the Camtasia recording software would normally have you know highlighted your cursor things like that which makes this a lot better for creating tutorials if i right click there i'm going to drag around just do a couple little clicks here and then i hit stop recording it's going to actually save that video to the desktop and show that little floating thumbnail thing and if we click it we can now play the video back you can see it moving the cursor around You now have a trim tool, so if you click that button at the top, you can now actually just very quickly trim the video. So for example, I had a little bit of a slow start, so I can I can drag that in until the click to stop recording button goes away. Good to go, I can hit done. Or you can revert the changes up at the top if you want to undo a trim. I'm going to hit done. It's going to save it to a new MOV file, and then we can play that back using the normal QuickTime Movie Player. Now you notice I mentioned that it shows mouse clicks and that was not done in that recording. That's because you actually have set options once you switch over to screen recording mode. Uh, you get to choose which microphone you're using for the recording. So if you are using a, or like recording a tutorial or showing someone something, you want to select a microphone. Uh, so I only have the built-in microphone enabled here, so I'm going to choose that. And then you can choose show mouse clicks like you would show, choose show the cursor for screenshots. Now I'm going to only tell it to record a selected portion is just going to be this random region in the middle of my screen. I'm going to hit record. It's recording. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click. I'm going to move this screenshot over there. And then I'm going to hit stop recording. Click the little floaty thumbnail. It's a very wide video because it's only that portion of the screen that I told it to record. And if I play it back, you can see those little circles around where I click. It's a green circle if you right click, and it's a gray circle if you normal click, which is really cool. I know this is something simple, and you guys are probably thinking I'm a little silly for having spent all of this time talking about this one feature, 
But as a content creator, as someone who does a lot of screencasting and screen recording myself, having these features built in the, into the operating system is really cool, especially since typically the built-in screen recording of QuickTime Player has always been fairly high quality, and this one should be as well. I'm fairly happy with how it goes, and then I tell it that I'm done and it dropped a video on my desktop. I think that a lot of a lot more people than who than you might think could actually benefit from being able to screen record and show people really quickly how to do things, especially with services like Skype and Discord and even social media sites having basically drag and drop video embed support so that you can quickly show someone something. Holy crap, that lawnmower. I think it's a very beneficial feature for a lot of people, and it's just one less thing you have to worry about configuring if you're doing basic screen capture work on your system. If you have a microphone hooked up, you can hook up a USB microphone and tell it to record your screen, and you don't have to configure OBS or any other third-party software. It's just built in, which is really handy. The only thing it's missing is some sort of like webcam integration, which could get a little messy, and that is what third-party software is for. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will put some links in the description to more wider coverage of the updates provided in macOS Mojave if you're interested. Otherwise, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education and occasional Mac videos. I'm mostly a Windows and Linux guy, but I do own a MacBook. It's an older one, but I own one. Video on that soon, actually, and wanted to cover this. I'll see you in the next one.